안녕하세요 건강한 무료 채울 사랑한 바입니다 오늘 코어 다오에서 새로운 트윗이 좀 올라왔어요 아침에 어, 음, 설명 드릴 게 많을 것 같아서 간단하게만 좀 빨리 넘어가도록 하겠습니다 코어 다오의 보안 감사를 맡았던 업체 세곳 중에 한 곳이에요 썰틱 이라고 하죠 여기에서 이제 코어 다오 관계자와 인터뷰를 진행한 내용을 32분 짜리 영상으로 올렸어요 저는 이제 이 영상에 대한 내용을 최대한 간략하게 먼저 말씀드려 볼 거고 이 영상이 궁금하신 분들은 제 멘션 뒤에 제가 32분 짜리 영상을 약 12분 정도의 요약 한글 번역을 넣어 뒀으니까 그거를 잠깐 보셔도 도움이 될것 같습니다 그러면 내용 을좀 빨리 짚어 볼게요 이 영상에서 코어 다오를 대변해 주고 있는 사람은 브랜든 세도 라고 하는 사람인데요 브랜든 세도는 일종의 투자자 더라고요 여기 보시면 코어 체인 이라고 나와 있고 과거 이력을 보면 뭐 최고 경영자 창립자 사업 인데 코어 다오에 투자를 함으로써 코어 다오 쪽 정보를 많이 알고 있는 것 같았습니다 그러면 내용을 좀 살펴볼게요 먼저 동영상을 바로 설명드리기 보다도 어, 동영상을 보시기 전에 이런 내용들이 있었고 이런 건 알면 좋겠다 라는 거 벌써 말씀드리겠습니다 영상에서는 이제 코어 다오의 탄생 배경에 대해서 나오고요 함께 이더리움과 비트코인이 결합 된 그런 배경에 대해서 말해주고 있고 코인의 높은 보안성의 장점과 그리고 이더리움의 확장성인 장점을 두 개를 결합해서 코어 다오가 탄생했다는 내용을 말해주고 있어요 그러면서 이제 비트코인의 POW 작업 증명 방식 이더리움의 POS 지분 증명 방식 과거에는 이더리움도 POW 였죠 요 얘기는 생략하도록 하겠습니다 아무튼 앞으로 이제 메인넷 출시를 앞두고 브릿지를 통해서 브릿지는 서로 다른 네트워크 간에 블록체인을 교환하게 해주는 통로죠 이런 브릿지를 통해서 다른 체인과 교환 가능한 어떤 새로운 소식도 곧 전달할 내용이다 라는 내용과 함께 하드캡에 관한 언급도 있었죠 하드캡은 코어는 21억 개가 발행량이거든요 비트코인은 2100만 개였죠 어쨌든 이렇게 발행량이 일정하게 정해진 코인이다 라는 하드캡에 관한 얘기와 반감기 비트코인은 4년마다 채굴량이 절반으로 줄어들죠 이거를 반감기라고 하는데 비트코인처럼 반감기가 아니고 코어는 울트라 사운드 머니 방식을 적용했다 라는 거고 울트라 사운드 머니는 이제 이더리움 EIP 라고 하죠 이더리움의 그 방식과 유사해요 공급과 수요에 맞춰서 발행량이 유동적으로 움직이는 방식이고요 요런 내용과 그리고 또 요번에 이렇게 감사 완료 소식까지 벌써 수개월이 이렇게 지연된 거에 대해서 코드나 트위터 커뮤니티에 대해서 이제 진정한 감사하는 말을 이제 좀 하고 있고요 그리고 앞으로 코어 다오의 운영 체제 점진적으로 탈 중앙화에 대한 계획에 대해서 영상에서 말하고 있습니다 대략적인 내용은 이렇게 되고요 어, 영상을 보기에 앞서서 초보 분들이시라면 조금 보면 좋을 만한 내용을 잠깐만 소개시켜 드려 볼게요 우선 여기 코어 다오에서 말하는 브랜든 세도가 비트코인과 이더리움을 합친 시스템이다 라고 얘기를 하는데요 둘의 차이점을 간단히 좀 말씀만 드려 보겠습니다 비트코인은 이제 화폐의 개념으로 보시면 되고요 이 화폐를 이제 블록체인 기반 기술로 만든 것이 이제 비트코인 이라고 볼수 있습니다 이것을 블록체인 개념화를 최초로 한 것이 비트코인이고 그런데 비트코인은 화폐로서의 가치 밖에 없기 때문에 뭐 영희가 철수에게 500원을 전달했다 이런 정도의 이제 정보 전달만 가능해요 그래서 이걸 다양한 범용적인 정보 처리를 위해서 이더리움 이라는 플랫폼이 탄생을 한 거죠 어떻게 틀리냐면 우선 프로그래밍 언어가 틀려요 이더리움은 솔리디티 언어를 사용하는데요 이것이 이제 기존 비트코인과 달리 어떤 명령문에 조건을 추가함으로써 스마트 컨트랙트 라고 해요 스마트 컨트랙트 많이 들어보셨을 것 같은데요 이더리움을 컴퓨팅화 시킬 수 있는 부분입니다 뭐 예를 들면 영희가 만 원이 넘는 금액을 가지고 있다면 철수에게 500원을 줘 이런 식으로 이더리움 플랫폼에서는 다양한 프로그래밍이 가능해지는 확장성을 가질 수 있다는 면에서 블록체인 역사상의 굉장한 또 혁명이죠 그러면 비트코인보다 이더리움이 컴퓨팅이 되고 더 좋은 거 아니야? 이더리움만 쓰면 되잖아 왜 둘을 결합할까? 에 대해서는 각각의 장단점이 존재를 하는데요 우선은 뭐 POS가 이더리움 그리고 POW가 비트코인이라고 합니다 
POW는 이제 작업 증명 방식, 이더리움은 지분 증명 방식이죠. 요 밑에 4번 코어는 이제 작업 증명 더하기 D가 부, 붙었죠. 위임 지분 증명 방식인데요. 요거는 나중에 영상에서 다루도록 하겠습니다. 작업 증명 방식은 이제 비트코인과 이더리움. 여기 이더리움이 여기 있죠. 어, 이게 좀 헷갈리실 수 있는데, 과거에 이더리움 1.0은 작업 증명 방식이고, 요번에 머지를 거쳐서 지분 증명 방식으로 변경이 됐다고 보시면 됩니다. 자, 비트코인과 같은 작업 증명 방식의 장점은, 어, 보안성이 매우 높다라고 볼수 있고, 대표적으로, 단점은 이제 채굴에 소비되는 전력량이 너무 높아서 비친환경적이다 이런 부분이 있습니다. 지분 증명 방식은 많이 가질수록 더 이자를 받는 방식인데요. 어떻게 보면 빈익빈 부익부에 한몫하는 방식이라고 볼 수도 있죠. 하지만 이런 지분 증명 방식도 장단점이 있어요. 장점은 친환경적인 시스템이죠. 하지만 단점은 아까 말씀드렸던 이제 불공평한 경제 모델이 대표적으로 지적이 되고 있어요. 따라서 이 트릴레마라고 하는 게 존재하는데요. 모든 블록체인은 보안성과 확장성과 탈중앙성을 100% 만족시킬 수 없다라고 하는 게 현재의 블록체인의 현실입니다. 근데 코어가 어떻게 특별하냐? 그래서 보안성, 확장성, 탈중앙성을 복하겠다라고 해서 나온 게 코어고요. 그러면서 이제 앞서 말씀드렸던 비트코인과 이더리움을 우리는 합쳤다라고 해서 나온 부분입니다. 아, 코어는 반감기가 없다고 아까 말씀드렸는데요. 이 부분에 대해서는 어, 시간이 너무 길어지기에 제가 다른 영상에서 좀 다루도록 하겠습니다. 영상을 본제 느낌은 코어 다운은 굉장히 완벽함을 추구하는 것 같았고 정말 과거 2019년부터 준비해서 지, 지금까지의 노력한 열정과 끈기가 대단하다는 모습으로 보였습니다. 이 영상을 보니까 이제 향후 출시될 메인넷에 너무나 큰 기대가 돼서 굉장히 설레는 마음으로 좀볼수 있었습니다. 어, 오늘 영상은 어, 브랜든 세도의 인터뷰 영상으로 마무리가 될 거라서 따로 인사를 못 드릴 것 같아요. 제가 앞으로 지분 증명 방식 또 반감기 울트라 사운드에 대해서 정보를 드릴 수 있도록 하겠습니다. 그러면 오늘 감사합니다. So today we've got Brendan s e d o from Core DAO on the show to tell us more about the project. Thank you for coming on the show, Brendan. Thank you for having me. No worries. Yeah, looking forward to it. We've had a lot of interest about this. Um, so how about you? We start with uh, what's the ideology behind Core? What problems is uh, is Core DAO solving? Sure. So first of all, thanks for having us, and kudos to your social team. You guys have done an incredible job. So it's. Uh, Exciting to be part of this. So Core Core's got a really interesting story. Uh, you asked about the ideology. It was really the uh, result of a debate between two friends. So one of which was at the time a, a bit of an Ethereum maxi. You know, really excited about the composability and smart contracts in Ethereum. The other was what you would call almost a Bitcoin maxi. And the two were basically having a debate about the future three years ago. Um, and where that debate kind of led was, you know, to the creation of Core, which is taking the best of both of those worlds. So taking the composability of Ethereum uh, with the decentralization and security that Bitcoin and specifically proof of work provides. Um, so that was the genesis of Core. And uh, they felt it really was, you know, the, the first solution to solve what we call the blockchain trilemma. Um, and not have to make trade-offs on an L1. So that's, uh, that's really the ideology or how everything started. And uh, it's been a couple of years journey. And that's really the differentiation with CoreDAO, you know, compared to other, uh, you know, complete proof of stake L1s or EVM chains. So the Satoshi Plus is really interesting and it is novel in that it actually combines both proof of work and proof of stake. So we run validators who are confirming the network and they actually take in a uh, delegated proof of work from mining pools. So they're actually delegating their hash rate. Uh, and then we, we also have a delegated proof of stake component. So you know, users can uh, delegate their core as well, like any other delegated proof of stake system. So what that means is we then uh, have a, a very unique scoring system for the validators that takes both proof of work and proof of stake into account. Um, and that's a, that's a different you know, mathematical model. And basically that results in, in a very you know, decentralized, secure 
uh, consensus mechanism that's different than what we've seen from anything else out there. What you see there is basically we, we've partnered with an app called the Satoshi app uh, to you know, basically pre-mine a bunch of uh, core tokens that are going to come out with the eventual, eventual uh, mainnet launch and community airdrop that we'll be doing. So to clarify, those are not actually Bitcoin miners. We call those miners uh, users that are mining core. And uh, we're really excited about this launch. You know, we actually see it as one of the fairest launches since Ethereum. You know, we don't have any VC insiders. Uh, we're dropping, you know, a significant portion to these uh, early users and airdrop directly to the community. So it's something that we're really excited about. And again, kind of goes back to the ethos of crypto that we really haven't seen in years, frankly. The most important thing is though, at launch, like we're fully functional. We're, we're a fully functional EVM chain, literally a fork of GETH. Um, so you, you can really do anything from a development standpoint and from a user standpoint. So I just wanna make that clear. So we're really excited about that. We'll have full functionality on mainnet launch. Um, from there, we've got you know, a variety of DeFi products launching. You know, you'll, you, you'll be able to swap uh, there'll, there'll be some more news soon around bridging, which we're really excited about. So that's another teaser. You can expect something from us in the next couple of days around. Uh, but we actually have a hard cap on the core tokens. Um, you now, similar to the 21 million hard cap in Bitcoin, we, we also have a hard cap. Uh, and forgive me, it's, it's 2.1 or 21 billion tokens. I think it's 21 billion tokens. So we're... Uh, excited about you know having like a very sound money source in in the age of uh kind of like infinite scalability and you know technology costs going down uh we really wanted to take the sound money principles that bitcoin created and, and input that in core so to be clear uh there's there's going to be a hard cap on the core why did you go with certic to audit your smart contracts we just loved the name you know the name certic was great no, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, you know, really with, with Certic, you know, you guys are one of the most trusted names in the space. Uh, it was really an easy choice for us to be one of the audit partners. Um, we just felt you guys were a very trusted, well-renowned name in the space. So that's why we went with you guys and we wanted nothing but the best. Um, you know, I, I may be leading, leading into security a bit more, but, you know, security is crucial in way. You know what? It's... <laughs> Hard, hard for me to, to go into too much detail there, but um, all I'll say is that I appreciate the community's patience. Um, you know, we're, a lot of our contributing team is in the Discord. We're, we're monitoring, monitoring what people are, are saying. We're, we're trying to do best by the community. And, and we know that this has been a while, uh, you know, a couple months of delay. So we just really appreciate that they were patient and, uh, you know, we, we've been working really hard and you can obviously tell by the report, I think we were ranked like pretty highly, correct? You know, we, you know one of the, the top ranked projects, you know, that's for a reason. We worked really hard and, and took security very seriously and have a very talented team. So again, just appreciate the patience from the community. You know, everything's rolling. We're getting there. We really appreciate you guys and, and we're going to do right by you all uh, for, for sticking with us and, and believing in in the core values of core. And we don't have a huge treasury, nor have we raised VC funds. And that was a very um, intentional decision. We, we wanted to be different than all the other chains, raising boatloads of capital and, and you know, enriching insiders. Um, so, so again, that's, that's made it tough in, in some ways, but we felt that sticking to the, to the values of an ethos of crypto was more important. Um, so how have we been able to do that? You know, we've just had a, had a very lean team. We're not spreading money around. As you know, there's a lot of chains with huge grant programs, you know, paying lots of money to get projects on board. We've right. really had to get creative there. You know, we, we've struck initial partnerships based on the size and, and engagement in our community, right? Because a lot of projects, ultimately, they want users, right? They want People, the, like if you're building something, the best feeling is when someone actually uses it. So we've had to, you know, really be creative and leverage that for partnerships. Uh, post mainnet launch, 
obviously there's no token yet. We should at least have a have a treasury, right? So at that point, we can get a bit more creative with grant programs and and uh, you know in, in, increase the size of our contri- contributors. And what will determine its value in the ecosystem? Yeah, so I mean, it'll be similar to other other L1 chains, right? So obviously, we'll, you'll use core token to perform functions uh, directly in the core ecosystem, uh, you know, to stake and earn rewards, to interact with DeFi protocols, to buy NFTs, to, to play games. So the, the utility is similar to, you know, like an Ethereum, we, we are an EVM chain. So it's similar to like an Ethereum style gas, gas type model. It's really like the, the um, utility and, and gas to, to uh, do things on the chain. Um, you know, speculation is cool, but we want to provide real utility, uh, within the chain. And, and we ultimately want the, the price tied to, to how much people are actually using core. And we have a great head start with the you know, millions of users, uh, 8 million wallets cool, for the cool, airdrop cool projects, lo- uh, launching come mainnet. And we're assuming we'll get a lot more projects after. So, uh, you know, we see the price, uh, tied to, to its utility and how much usage is, is happening on chain. How do you minimize centralization in core DAO? To clarify is, you know, at the start, I, I don't know if the right term is centralization, but you need a bit of a more coordinated effort at the beginning to get things launched. So this initial contributing team came together and has contributed together and, and kind of worked in lockstep in a very small team. And you need a bit more oversight to get the, get everything launched. After launch, uh, you know, we want more contributors on board. Uh, we're we're going to kind of like spread out a lot of the tasks and it'll progressively get more and more decentralized. I'd say we're extremely decentralized already, but all I want to highlight is to, to get like the initial blockchain built and out, you just need a bit more of a coordinated effort with this kind of remote decentralized team. Um, but, oh, you know, over time, we're going to be even more decentralized. Going to, do you have any plans to, um, undergo team member KYC just to, uh, give that extra level of assurance to your community about the, the, the verified identities of the people behind the project? I think the big thing for us is we don't necessarily want one person. Like, as you notice, you know, I'm not scared to necessarily show my face, but we have the core logo. Uh, we're, you know, when, when we think of like a decentralized community and chain, we don't really want like one person to, to get be on the spotlight. We're really trying to highlight like a bigger t- decentralized team. And it's really about the DAO and the users themselves because we're, we're a very decentralized team. There isn't necessarily going to be like one decision maker. Um, so that's why we're, we're just like, when we come out with content, even when we're, thank you for having us on and the great questions uh, and, and, and just, doing a great job on social media too. It's just been fun. It's been a fun couple of days. Uh, and the community, I think is really engaged with that. So that's been fun. Um, closing thoughts are thank you. Thank you again to Cernic. Uh, thanks to the community for being super patient with us. Technology takes time. We were just trying to really, uh, you know, cross the T's and dot the I's mainnet is coming very soon. I can't give an exact date just yet, but, the teaser is everything's going to plan and it will be coming very soon and we'll have details for you all. So just remain patient. We're super excited for that and the airdrop coming very soon.